Hey, Bill here, 545. More progress today. Okay, let's, where do we start? I, I got it, my, well, first things first, that's my small torque wrench set to 60 inch pounds. One thing I did today was I, I moved all the stuff, the toilet and the sink out, the toilet's in my bedroom. I marked up, I marked all the floor joists here and following a, a nailing schedule or a screw schedule for the floor, I marked out, you can see maybe some X's there six inches on center for screws around the perimeter and then uh, uh, every inch on the interior you know uh, sorry every foot every foot for you know on the, along the joists here so I marked out the joists because they're totally not standard you know you got this this extra bracing here for the sink and you got this guy right here and you got this guy who's completely you know off, not 16 inches on center of anything so this is the uh, other piece that's up right now. I've, on the other side, I've marked him up. So <clears throat> that's all marked. And I took this brace out here. And on the brace, I wrote 60 inch pounds. That's the torque spec for the uh, stainless steel uh, collars on the uh, on that tube, on the um, coupler there. So I took this out. I got my torque wrench. Got the uh, 5 16 inch hex and a step down half inch to a quarter inch drive and um, tighten this guy up and God I pray he's okay. I spent uh, spent some time again thinking about whether to get rid of the rubber coupler and put in a PVC one but it always comes down to whether this guy you can feed him in that way and turn him and then rotate him up while the glue is drying. You have only five seconds or less it's a one-shot deal, and if you screw up, it becomes we can overcome it. But it you'd have to cut back more of that tube, and uh, that's about the last cut you can do. It gets to be very, very scary. And uh, so, you know, I'm contemplating whether or not this is good enough, whether it's going to leak or not over time. It might leak one day when I'm long gone or dead, or the house is torn down. It doesn't matter. So that's uh, that's that. It doesn't leak now. I tested it, of course, but you know, over time, if it leaks, you gotta take the toilet and the floor up, which is a pain. Or you gotta take the cabinets down in the kitchen and drop that ceiling in the corner, which is uh, also where the uh, the vent, the tube, the tube for the the kitchen fan tube goes from about here over to the to the exterior wall, which is right below that the the ceiling there. Very nasty. So. If it does leak, I think we'd have to pull the toilet and go in from the top. I'm going to save some floor tiles, of course. But uh, I've done what I can. 60 inch pounds. I, you know, my, 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 my wrench is pretty accurate. I keep it in good shape. You know, I always follow directions about storing it properly. And we'll see what happens. A uh, couple past couple days. Oh, I don't know if I did this in a video, but, you know, I did the frame here. I think I did. I think I covered this already. Last night I moved this. Last night at Sunday, Sunday family dinner, I worked with my family, my, my sis sister and brother-in-law. And uh, we worked at the uh, the aesthetics here of um, having the uh, the center line of the sink, having the sink be on the center line of the drain. It doesn't have to be, you know, you can kind of do that. But I think um, I picked this dimension a year ago. It's been that long because of the uh, room for the toilet versus 32 inches for the shower stall. So I kind of figured right here. You know, it could have been anywhere, but I figured right about here. And then I drew a line up here, and I put the box there for the light. The light is 7.5 inches from center to center, so it comes out right about here, I suppose. This mark right here is where the uh, shower stall ends about. So the center line of the drain versus the center line of this stud bay right here, it's you know about an inch and a half off. So the mirror, the center line of a mirror, we can move the well we can move the mirror over so it's on this center line here, but there's also here, you know, now you have the extension jam here and you have a molding. You have the drywall come up to there, and then a molding like this. So it could be a little. There could be some offset. It could look stupid, but this room is so screwed up dimensionally, and it's just 
it just never ends. There's going to have to be some some some. It's we can't have we can't. We've decided we've come to the you know we can't have conventional medicine cabinets, so we're going to have shelves up there. So I got to put some blocking in up there. I don't want a floating floating drywall edge, as the drywallers call it. So my battery's low, and that's getting towards the end of the day for me. So that's it for me. So have a shower head. Okay, bye. Just a quick note here. There's my, uh, there's the toilet in my bedroom, a nice messy bedroom. So, do you ever have a toilet in your bedroom? So, that's what it looks like. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye.